cliche as it sounds, teaching is a noble profession. They say that you cannot earn a lot by this job. I have been teaching for seven years now, but before being a teacher, I used to work in different industries. I was a marketing officer, a customer sales representative, operations manager, and an HR officer. But teaching is different. Honestly, my family does not want me to be a teacher. I came from a family of businessmen. They want me to go abroad and find any job there. I was brought up that money is essential, and I still believe that it is, but not the most important thing though. I try to work at different industries, but it just makes me feel that I was not where I was supposed to be. I was always overworked and sad. I prayed a lot so that God will take me to where I needed to be. He showed me a video about teaching eight years ago. It was a TED Talk of Mom Sabsi on Kiko regarding return of investment. Ever since, I vowed that I will be a teacher and not just any teacher, but a public high school teacher. I was working in Magsaysay then. I remember making my own dream board. I have a picture of my head cut out and pasted on a picture of a public school teacher. My family, even though they do not support my decision, never left my side, especially my sister. They may not understand my passion and my direction, but they did not stop me from making my own journey. I resigned from my work in Manila and I applied as an instructor one, part-timer for college students in STI Tanawan. My salary was very small then. I did not have any teaching experience. On this part of my journey, I can relate to St. LaSalle, having that courage to leave all behind the past because God's call was stronger than my fears. No matter how hard it was, I took two jobs, customer service representative by night and teacher by morning so that I can finish education units. I was also taking care of my two children. By that time, I wanted to give up, but I looked at my dream board and it kept me going. 2017, I was promoted as the general education and college coordinator of STI, but I want to continue my plans though. That's why I resigned and started teaching at First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities. I took the LET examination and passed. As much as I have loved teaching in private schools, I still held on to my dream board of becoming a public high school teacher. 2019, I moved from Batangas to Cavite. Finally, I was accepted as teacher to Atanza National Comprehensive High School.
I can name hundreds of experiences when I, that I will never forget. But if I'm going to choose only one, it is the time when we were preparing for this career. The pandemic almost made it impossible to communicate properly to the students and also to the parents. From writing the modules to preparing for the on-site distribution to teaching asynchronous and synchronous classes and to helping the students who were left behind, those who were taking remedial classes. All of these are bound to one experience as I look back because all of what was done was for the objective of learning. It was not easy to check my phone and social media sites almost all the time. I received more than 40 messages per day and most needs a lengthy response. I also have to go and visit some of their houses, though it was risky. I can definitely say that I am one of those teachers who stands in the face of adversity, who brings out the passion in teaching despite the hardships and circumstances. As long as there are passionate teachers, there are engaged learners. Dreams are not supposed to be just tapped on a board. We have to be like Saint Lasalle, who is directed with a purpose, no matter how impossible and no matter how hard the journey will be. As long as there are learners who are willing to give their all and listen to God's call, there are teachers. We teachers are made by our creator to serve the younger generations, and that is our purpose.